This is Steve, Dichroic Glassman, ranting and raving <laughs> about my Dichroic bevels and jewels. I know, I'm the Billy Mays of Dichro now. I like it. I'll go for it. I own it. Check this out. You're seeing some cool reflections from this little tapestry. And I did that on purpose, because it really does add some really cool elemental ideas. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. But let's look at the let's look at the reptile. These are reptile bevels. Can you imagine? Can you even imagine? These are reptile dichroic bevels. Yeah. This is a bevel dine. Uh, I'm not familiar with my all my numbers. I think it's a B4 or 5. Yeah, check it out. Reptile. Reptile bevels. And jewels. Well, none of these here are jewels. These paisleys are beveldine. And they're gorgeous to use. I use lots of them. They're pretty salty. And eh, I don't know, maybe. Three bucks or so, so three fifty. The area for those. What's the feasibility of me doing dichroic bevels in all these different effects? Tremendous when you actually do the math. I've been ranting and raving about the how much they're getting away with selling us these bevels for, and geez, I never looked up, thought to take the time to really do the math to figure out they're only coating the little center and at that rate they're charging nine dollars an inch for an inferior bevel coated on the top that in the fusing world we couldn't get away with but yet they think we're gullible enough in the stained glass world to sell us on, on top where you don't get the depth effect what's the depth effect seeing into the glass underneath a clear coat like on this cabochon seeing through that's the depth effect of dichroic is what we've all come to expect. To look into a bevel or into a jewel and see all this incredible color and wonder, wow, is it, how in the heck can that even happen? It's not deep enough to create these effects. Well, when you got it coated on the top like they're showing us, well, you don't get that. Not when it's coated on the top because there's nothing over the top of it to give you the depth effect. So at $9 an inch, hmm, makes you gotta wonder. My rate's two bucks an inch for a full bevel. Yeah, two bucks. Sounds like a lot. Two bucks, plus the bevel. Somebody's gotta pay for the bevel. So, just in this jewel case, you get a clear jewel, you buy it or I'll buy it. If I gotta buy it, this is two and a quarter. And they're not easy to come by, because they sell out quickly. Because they're so effective. Not necessarily for dichroics, because I'm the only one basically advertising that I do this. But the idea that these one inch squares are really, really sharp in a window. So you're gonna pay two and a quarter for this clear, this clear German faceted jewel. Two and a quarter. Add two bucks to it, what I'll charge, and for four and a quarter, the same price you're paying for a colored faceted jewel, like red or peach or gold pink, I'm gonna sell you it in Dichro. You can't compare that. That's incredible. Dichroic jewels. For as cheap, if not cheaper, than some, well, that's, I'm not sure they'll be cheaper. That's incredible. It's time to look into this. I've been using my dichroic jewels and elements for about 13 years. This is just some of the shapes I've done. I've done hummingbirds and all kinds of... I've even done American bevel clusters. Check out my website and you'll see some extraordinary things I've done with these dichroic possibilities. So this is reptile. It's stunning. Reptile bevels. I'm copper foiling these all for you by the way and if you do lead let me know. I won't wrap them. 
I don't mind copper foil on them. I'm a pretty good wrapper, copper foil. I do a good job. In fact, I do a very good job, I will have to say. I do it all by hand. No automation. And by the way, all these bevels have to be done one at a time. Every bevel, every jewel. There is no automation possible to do this. These are laminated, all done by hand. Everyone laminated, everyone ground, and everyone copper foiled. At two bucks an inch, would you do it? Would you do that for two bucks an inch? I love doing this. It's a labor of love. I love dichroic glass. I love working with it. I enjoy selling to the people at fantastic rate, not nine dollars an inch, but at two bucks an inch. I'm saving you money. I'm making a little bit of money. <laughs> you do the you do the math. You find out there's not there's not a lot of profit margin. I actually have had people ask me why I even do it. Well, it's because I love doing it. I've given away a lot of my windows to auctions and benefits. Donated them. Ask yourself why are you doing stained glass. Why do you do anything? I wouldn't be putting 450 plus videos on the internet if I was all about the money. Because I, if that was the case, I'm wasting my time, aren't I? I'm a giver. I'm an extreme giver in life. I'm giving in my helps, in my videos on YouTube to help other people. And I'm good with that. I love it. I love the compliments. Sure, that's great. I like selling on YouTube. And that's what I'm doing here. Showing you the possibilities. It all works out. But I enjoy helping other people by giving away my ideas. And stained glass help. Showing them how to polish windows. Patina them. Construct them. Twist the lead. And I enjoy doing it. And I'm, and I'm enthusiastic and grateful for the people that watch who comment and compliment and I hope to do 450 more videos so keep watching thanks a lot for watching listening to me rant and rave all my banter <laughs> looking forward to talking to you on the next bye bye